Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today's shout out goes to Carlsbad Promotions for their continued support on Patreon. Thank you, Carlsbad Promotions. Eighth grade, unit five, lesson 15, the volume of a cone. Problem number one, a cylinder and cone have the same height and radius. The height of each is five centimeters and the radius is two centimeters. Calculate the volume of the cylinder and the cone. To calculate the volume of the cylinder, we'll multiply pi times r squared times the height. Since the height is 5 and the radius is 2, we'll multiply pi times 2 squared times 5, or pi times 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. The volume of the cylinder is pi times 20 centimeters cubed. To find the volume of the cone, we'll multiply 1 third times pi times r squared times height. Since the radius is 2 and the height is 5, we'll multiply 1 third times pi times 2 squared times 5. And that's 1 third times pi times 4 times 5. Or 1 third times pi times 20. That can also be written as 20 over 3 times pi centimeters cubed. Problem number two, the volume of this cone is 36 times pi cubic units. What is the volume of a cylinder that has the same base area and the same height? The formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times height. And the formula for finding the volume of a cone is one third times pi r squared times height. The above information tells us that the volume of the cone is 36 times pi cubic units. And the volume of a cone is one third the volume of a cylinder. So the volume of the cylinder would be three times greater than the volume of the cone, or three times greater than 36 times pi. Three times 36 is 108, so the volume of the cylinder would be 108 times pi, or 108 pi. Problem number three, from eighth grade, unit five, lesson 14. A cylinder has a diameter of six centimeters and a volume of 36 pi centimeters cubed. A, sketch the cylinder. This is what the cylinder would look like but now we need to use the information that they gave us to help us find the height and radius in centimeters, and then we'll be able to label the cylinder's height and radius. The volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times the height. They've already told us that the volume is 36 pi centimeters cubed. They also told us that the diameter is six centimeters. Since the diameter is six, then the radius has to be three. Now we can substitute the 3 for the r. v equals 3 squared times the height times pi. 3 squared is 9. The volume equals 9 times the height times pi. 9 times h equals 36. So the height has to be 4 because 9 times 4 equals 36. Now we can label the height. The height is 4 and the radius is 3. Problem number four from eighth grade, unit five, lesson 10. Lynn wants to get some custom t-shirts printed for her basketball team. Shirts cost $10 each if you order 10 or fewer shirts and $9 each if you order 11 or more shirts. A, make a graph that shows the total cost of buying shirts for zero through 15 shirts. On the right side, you see I have a graph. The horizontal axis, or the x-axis, represents the number of shirts, and the vertical axis, or the y-axis, represents the cost in dollars. On the left-hand side, I have a table. The right side column of the table represents the number of shirts and correlates with the horizontal axis, or the x-axis, and the left-hand column represents the cost in dollars, which correlates with the vertical axis, or the y-axis. B. There are 10 people on the team. Do they save money if they buy an extra shirt? Explain your reasoning. If 10 people each paid $10 for one shirt, that would be 10 shirts for $100.
If they bought an 11th shirt, then they could buy 11 shirts for $9 each. And 9 times 11 is $99. So if they paid for 11 shirts, they would actually save $1. C. What is the slope of the graph between 0 and 10? What does it mean in the story? The slope of the graph will be rise over run. And from 0 to 10, the rise is 100 and the run is 10. That's a slope of 100 divided by 10 or 10. So the slope is 10. That means it costs $10 to buy one t-shirt. D. What is the slope of the graph between 11 and 15? What does it mean in the story? The rise is 99 and the run is 11. That's 99 divided by 11 or 9. The slope in this section of the graph is 9. That means that it costs $9 to buy one t-shirt. Problem number 5. From 8th grade unit 5 lesson 6. In the following graphs, the horizontal axis represents time and the vertical axis represents distance from school. Write a possible story for each graph. For the graph on the left, the story could be that the student was at school, then started walking home, took a break for a while, and then continued walking home from school. For the next graph, the student started at school, walked all the way home, stayed at home for a while, and then walked back to school. For the third graph, the student started at home and then walked to school. Thanks again to Carlsbad Promotions for their continued support on Patreon. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.